بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الرحمن علم القرآن خلق الانسان علم البیان ویلکم آج ہمیشہ کی طرح سٹارٹ کرنے سے پہلے آج کی اچھی بات ریمبر ریپلیس ایکسکیوزز ود ایفرٹس ریپلیس لیزینس ود ڈٹرمنیشن اینڈ ایوری تھنگ ایلس ول فال ان ٹو پلیس ایک چیز یاد رکھیں کہ جب بھی آپ اس راستے میں آ ہیں اسپیشلائزیشن کے یہاں پہ فیلیئر نہیں یہاں پہ ناکامی نہیں یہاں پہ آپ نے بس سیکھنا ہے اور جب بھی آپ کامیاب نہ ہو پائیں تو آپ سوچیں کہ وہ کیا چیزیں تھیں جو آپ کو نہیں آتی تھیں یا جو آپ بہتر کر سکتے ہیں کوشش کریں اپنے آپ کو امپروو کرنے کی سو so, آج کا شارٹ کیس ہے میں سبڈومین ایک بہت اہم ٹاپک ہے اور اس میں جو کہ چیزیں دیکھ سکتے ہیں کہ نیورو بلاسٹوما رائزنگ فروم دا کڈنی ہارڈو نیفروسس سولنگ آف دا کڈنی ملٹی سسٹک پولی سسٹک کڈنیز لمفوما پینکریاٹک سوڈوسسٹ اور ویلمس ٹیومر وچ از آلسو رائزنگ فروم دا کڈنی تو آپ کو کمانڈ مل سکتی ہے کہ دس چائلڈ ہیز ابڈامینل سولنگ پلیز ڈو دی ابڈومین اینڈ ریلیونٹ سو یو ہیو ٹو اسٹیک ٹو دا ابڈومین If you have the time, then go to the relevant. After introduction and consent, you expose the patient after hand sanitization, which should be ideally in shorts. Like in normal all cases, you have to see the general look. It should be the same five or six things like sick or well-looking, cyanosis or respiratory distress, etc. rest, pallor or jaundice, nutritional status, and diagnostic or dysmorphic features. And start with the abdomen. start with the inspection to see the shape obvious bulge or asymmetry visible veins pulsations scar marks shape of umbilicus then light palpation is done for the rapid building gaining confidence of the patient remember to tell the patient that this will not hurt and ask him before palpation where it hurts the most so that you should not in in inadvertently advertently hurt the patient Then you do the deep palpation for the mass. And for the mass, you measure it, it into two dimensions. The location where it is located and its extent, whether it's crossing or not crossing the midline. How is its consistency, surface, tenderness, O-line skin, flank pain not crossing the midline. If the flank, the mass, Flank mass which is not crossing the midline is Wilhelm's tumors. Hypochondrial mass crossing midline is neuroblastoma. Then you check for the liver, spleen and bladder and the percussion for the liver upper border and everyday evidence of ascites. Then you auscultate for hepatic brewery, aortic area and then the genitalia but you must ask the examiner before doing it. For ambiguous genitalia which is associated with Wilhelm's tumor and there are syndromes associated with this a typical genitalia like the danish tetch syndrome then you check the back for spinal tenderness bone marrow dressing or scar marks and the hands are examined for clubbing pallor colonia leukonychia arms for the blood pressure you can offer it at the end axillary lymph nodes eyes for the pallor jaundice aniridia raccoon eyes associated with neuroblastoma lymph nodes for the submandibular and cervical lymph nodes legs for the pedal edema and screen skin for the petechiae and bruises get if the neuroblastoma on clinical examination at the end of complete examination you say finish it by say that i want to take blood pressure plot height weight and foc on the centile charts i have made my hypothetical descriptions uh, and you can memorize or practice your own descriptions assalamu alaikum sir or ma'am i have just examined three year old Junaid Khan, who was conscious and cooperative during my examination. He is sick looking under this child without obvious respiratory distress and cyanosis at rest. There is no jaundice, dysmorphic or diagnostic features and no hemihypertrophy. Abdomen is distended with a bulge on right side. The mass measuring 10 into 10 cm is palpable in right lumbar region, which is extended tail umbilicus, but not crossing the midline. It is firm in consistency, non-tender smooth surface and normal overlying skin. 
the genitalia and back are normal, there is no viscerogaly or evidence of ascites. Hadial orifices were intact. There is no pallor, cyanosis, clubbing. Blood pressure is equal to 100 by 60 mm of mercury. No lymphadenopathy, normal eye examination and no petechiae and bruises on the skin. I want to plot height, weight and FOC on centile charts. My clinical findings are consistent with the diagnosis of malignancy, most likely Wilms tumor, but I will also keep the hydronephrosis, neuroblastoma, and non Hodgkin lymphoma in my differential diagnosis. Remember, if you are clinically certain about the Wilms tumor, you just say that my most likely diagnosis is Wilms tumor. And if the examiner asks you for the differentials, then you tell them. So the differential diagnosis as previously mentioned, the Wilms tumor, neuroblastoma, non-Hodgkin lymphoma and polycystic or multicystic kidneys. Investigation depending upon the tumors. In case of neuroblastoma, you do the CT scan abdomen, urinary, VMA, HMA, MIBG iodine 1, 2, 3, meta-iodine, benzalganidine scan, biopsy which tells the round blue cell tumor and is diagnostic. In Wilms tumor, for, you do the ultrasound, CECT scan abdomen, MRI or abdomen or chest, chest x-ray for pulmonary infiltrates. Remember, Wilms tumor don't classify. Then you can do check for the Wilms tumor gene, WT1 gene mutation. This is also associated with the congenital nephrotic syndrome. So you have to look for that. And then there's a non-Hodgkin lymphoma. You check the lymph node for or bone marrow biopsy, CT scan, PET scan, immunohistochemistry, fish, cytogenetic studies, carrier typing, and reverse transcript transcript PCR for the specific gene translocation. So thank you very much. This was some of the basic uh, about the um, uh, short case of the mass abdomen. You can just take the guide from what I have told you, but you can improve it, make your own guidelines. This is not the final thing. And uh, I, I just wish you luck and I pray that may Allah be our helper, protector and guide. Allah Hafiz.